Mike, but that Dallas defense was the source of that lopsided playoff scoreline that lost to Green Bay, giving up in that wild card loss four touchdowns of 75 plus yards. Week one, they, they got the job done. They went to the dog pound and shut down Cleveland. For you, what would you like to see, or what did you like from game one of sample size under new DC Mike Zimmer? Yeah, uh, their pressure. Micah Parsons uh, starts with him. They moved him around quite a bit. I was concerned about can they hold up without Deron Bland. They did that. Um, it really wasn't an issue. Micah Parsons could cover up a lot of secondary issues, um, but they really were able to get after Deshaun Watson, who really was never comfortable, Phil. Uh, here you see a pick by Eric Kendrick, somebody that played for Mike Zimmer in Minnesota. So, really, it was an impressive win on both sides of the ball, but when you have number 11 on defense, Phil, he is a difference maker. Yeah, and that fifth-round pick, Kalen Carson out of Wake Forest, really impressed in his career debut. They get the Saints, who lit up Carolina in week one. For, for New Orleans, FPI told us week one, home against the Panthers. That was the Saints' likeliest win of the season. I mean, they led by a tennis score in the second quarter. It was 30-love. How much confidence should supporters of this team feel comfortable taking from a comprehensive beatdown of Carolina? Look, they're explosive on offense. People don't realize Chris Olave, Rashid Shaheed, Jawan Johnson at tight end. They're going to be able to score points when Derek Carr feels comfortable and protected the way he was the other day. Uh, as you mentioned, it was the Carolina Panthers who unfortunately lost their best interior defense lineman, Derek Brown. So this will be a big step up in weight class for them. But the Saints are explosive. They can score points. This is a really interesting matchup, their offense against what we just talked about with a very quality D Dallas Cowboy defense. Yeah, Clint Kubiak, his first year as play caller there in New Orleans, one for one.